Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long, long time since I did a video. I've been doing videos here and there, not too many, but I am going to be starting my budget completely over and this is why. So recently I let y'all guys know in a previous video that I had taken a lot of my money to the bank. All of my savings challenges, I unstuffed everything and everything uh, was in the bank. During that time, um, in which I said this, it was perfect timing. During that time, I got a call about um, purchasing a home. So, um, I went ahead and started the process, guys. And yes, I was able to purchase a home thanks to budgeting, guys. It was an amazing uh, opportunity. And the experience, I have to say the experience was great because I had a great realtor and a lender. Guys, they work with me. They taught me so, so much. And I think I will be doing a video on first time home buying and your do's and don'ts when you are being a budgeter. So you guys know, um, I haven't been doing any budgeting videos because of the home buying process you have to have your cash in the bank and you can't you know be pulling out money and then redepositing without having to explain it so i basically left all of my money in the bank and then my bills i just paid it from um, that account instead of going to my bills account so all of my money comes into one account well not all of my money so my um work check comes goes into one account and I just left everything there. I got off of my budgeting journey really as far as cash stuffing. I didn't like pull any money out because it was a minimum that I was actually spending guys and I can't believe how I was able to you know adjust myself to not spend as much but I have to say that I was still able to do that through budgeting. You know, had I not started my budgeting journey, I don't know if I would have been able to even purchase my home. So I didn't have to do a down payment. I had a small closing cost. And then I also paid off my credit cards during the process because I didn't want anything to come back and was like, oh my gosh, you know, and stop my process. So that's where I have been, um, and I am so ready to get back into cash stuffing, but on this video, I will only be doing my variable expenses because it's, um, I guess July is kind of crazy because I'm trying to readjust a lot of things and, um, get it in not much has changed i didn't have to move i was able to purchase the home that i was already in so that was a big plus for me i didn't have to you know move out and then purchase a u-haul or anything or hire somebody to help me move so that was a big plus within itself so yes my realtor was my landlord i was able to fire my landlord thanks to them guys um but we are going to do this cash stuffing. Then we're going to talk about some new items that I have on my Amazon store as well as new items that will be going up in my Etsy store. And I will be turning my Shopify store back on because I paused that um, as well because I wanted to make sure I had what I needed in the bank because they look at everything during your home buying process, guys. And I was like turned into a minimalist literally a minimalist so let's get into what we will be cash stuffing for today okay so we will be cash stuffing only my variable um expenses what i will be using for this week only so let's get into it and see how much we're doing oh and thank you to everyone that sent me an email or inboxed me on etsy 
checking up on me to make sure I was okay, guys. It was greatly appreciated. I wanted to let you guys know so, so bad what I was doing, but I wanted to wait until the process was done and then tell y'all the good news, y'all. I have a mortgage. I know some of y'all may say that may defeat the purpose of becoming debt-free, but guys, that is um, one of the things that I've had on my vision boards. And I'm going to stop talking um, here in just a minute, but guys, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. So I, I do vision boards and I will be doing a video of that on how to do a vision board. So I did have for 2023 was to become a homeowner guys. And I get to take that off my vision board. So, um, I'm not worried about the digging myself in debt because, you know, I did take out a loan to purchase a home, but Y'all, this is, this is one of those things that even though it put me in debt, a house is an asset because of the equity that comes with it. So enough of that, um, just in case somebody would be like, oh, you just jumped into more debt instead of doing that. But yeah, there's cash stuff. <laughs> um, so what we will be cash stuffing is $150 for my variable expenses. For this week. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 dollars. Okay, so let's get that stuff. And okay, so we will be using this, and I really want to move back into my A5, but um, these are the envelopes for fall, so I'm going to probably make new envelopes for that. Let me pull out my... Mm -mm. And y'all, when I tell y'all this has... Um, I missed cash stuffing so much. I mean, I missed it so much. I got off track really, really bad um, because I was swiping the card and I feel like in my mind I was overspending because I didn't have the cash in my hand to know how much I was spending. So I am so, 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 so glad to be getting back to this um, cash stuffing, which I could have kept on cash stuffing and taking out the money for my variable expenses. But I was just like, you know what? I didn't want them to be like, okay, so you're not um, eating or buying this or buying that. So what are you doing? You know, I didn't want to have to explain no more than what I needed to. But enough of that rambling, y'all. Let's, let's get into it. So we're going to stuff these groceries. All right. So groceries will be getting 60. I am going to do 20, 40, 50. 60 and 65. All right. For gas, I am going to do, let me scoot this over a little bit. For gas, I'm gonna do 30. So I'm going to do a 20 and a 10. For household, we're going to do 15, 10 and 15. For spending, let's do 10 and I am going to do a $10 bill. For beauty, let's do 20. So I'm gonna do um, 10, two 10. So. Eating out isn't getting anything, and medication, medication will be getting 10 as well. And it looks like I need to cut this off a little more. I still have a little lip on there, but I'm going to just sit this here, and then I will cut this and put it in. Um, receipts, oh, I have money here. So those are the $1 that I'm going to put back. I don't have, oh, I do have something in deposit. So I'm going to put these $1 bills up for my $1 savings challenges for 
this month. So I did... Uh, I did have that left over for, from some cash that I did have. Um, I think I pulled out a few dollars here and there. Not too much. Not enough to actually do my cash stuffing. So I'm going to empty the change. Is that all of it? to just take this change. I didn't know I had that much change. And I'm going to put it here. And this looks like it's, it's probably enough to go towards my uh, penny savings challenge. So that's where that's going to go. I'm just going to sit that right here. And let's talk about some new items that will be on the shop. Okay, first we are going to start with my new savings challenge book and I told you guys probably back in I want to say back in April back in April yeah back in April that I had a new savings challenge on um, Amazon and this is the book is it's on there and it's been on there but I didn't do a video to let you guys know and I'm not sure why. I think it just kind of slipped my mind. But I did, um, I had this on my my desk to do a video on it. So you guys would be able to know that it, it's been published for months. But um, it's, it, it's a savings challenge book for any income. So what I did on this one, this is just my little spiel to thank you. And um, I have my favorite books here. And there's a level with your name on it. So what I did, I did this book for any income. So you will be able to write in how much you want to save instead of um, putting, hey, this is for $500 or $10,000. This is a 26-week challenge. You can put down your goal and then you can write down what you want each envelope to be. So basically, this whole entire book is really designated to... Um, however much you want to save. And I think I have like um, a couple of, you know, savings challenges that has the amount on it. So I took out some of the savings challenges from my other book, but I kind of like spiced it up a little and kind of made it look a little fun. So this one is like the 52 week savings challenge to save the $5,000, so I did do that. And um, it's just a little fun little book. So it has the um, the little trackers that I had, like for, what, it, what was it? The monthly savings challenges that I was doing. So I just went ahead and put them here. And you can just put any amount that you would like to save instead of the amount um, that I had on the smaller trackers. So, yeah, it's, it's a real fun book. It's, it's neat. I think it's, um, it'll be great for any one of y'all. I will leave the link to this book in the description. And it is purchased on Amazon. So, you will be able to get it fairly quickly. Um, and we also still have the other books on my Shopify store as well as my Etsy store. And I also have some new trackers that I, was, that I did. Um, while I was not doing any videos and this came as a request from one of my buyers so she wanted the um, y'all know I have the colors colors um, saving challenges and uh, she wanted the um, a6 envelopes and this style and but she asked for the scratch and saves and everything to be here. And the crazy thing is I had it designed, but I never added it to my store. So it was an easy, quick fix. But this one is like, uh, 
think my ink was running out. So this is what it looks like for real on the front of it. And um, this is the back. It's just a scratch and save. It comes in all different amounts. And um, it's 50 and these come in the $5 challenges as well. And I also did the scratch outs and you see here, I have color scratch and save, which I need to change that right there. But I, I'm just now noticing that now because i've sold these or did them in a giveaway you know when you order something from my store i will give these away for free so um yeah i need to change that but these also come in different amounts as well so you can buy your envelopes your um, cash stuffing envelopes you can have your scratch and save you can do your savings challenges and the cash breakdowns all in one somebody asked me if i would do like a box and um sell them sell you know items like these and i thought about it but i'm not sure but i'm i think that is something that i do want to look into a little bit more because i mean why not have everything that you can have everything matching and then i can do like some some of the checkered binders or the other binders and i do have a new set of binders as well i'm going to grab those two so you guys can see the colors of those and i will be right right back all right so these are the colors that i have so i have like a lilac purple and this one is my favorite a mint green and i think i'm going to change this into my um a savings challenge binder i love this and then I have um, a pink and then I have the blue. So you guys, these are all pastel colors and they are still in the wrapper because um, they have just been sitting on my shelf waiting for me to actually put them out for them to be sold. So guys, drop in a comment and let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of new things trying to come up with different ideas and creativity to um bring in more income for me so if you have stayed this long i really appreciate you for stopping by i appreciate you for um staying this long and if you are still here this long please drop me down some hearts oh no that was not a heart Drop me down some hearts. Is that a heart? Can y'all see it? Okay. But you guys know I really appreciate you for stopping by. I appreciate you for staying long. I appreciate you for all the love and the support that you guys have been giving me. I have still been growing even though I've not um, released any videos. Guys, y'all have still been uh, growing my channel. And I really appreciate that, guys. Um but you guys know as always until the next video i want you to hustle hard budget hard and pray harder bye be blessed